Hello everyone and welcome back to The Millionaire House. If you're new here, my name is Melanie and this channel is dedicated to all things home decor, lifestyle, and family. So if you like what you see, I'd love for you to stick around and consider subscribing to the channel. I'm changing things up just a little bit on the channel. I'm adding some new content that I think you may find interesting. But before we get into that, I'd like to address a question that I've been asked a lot in my DMs, which is, where have you been, Mel? So um, I'm going to talk for a real quick minute about that and then we'll get right into the video. Those of you who have been following for a while uh, know that I lost my father very unexpectedly right before the 12 days of Christmas started. And at the time, um, I had a lot of obligations to fill um, to brands and to you guys and so I really kind of powered through the situation to just make everything come together. And I thought that I was okay. And then after Christmas, grief um, really slammed into me like, like a tidal wave. Um, they say that there are stages of grief. Um, I believe that it comes in waves and I had a wave hit that I just didn't see coming and it really knocked me off my feet. Um, I was very down in the dumps. I wasn't feeling um, creative or like making videos and as you know I really try to keep everything very positive on this channel I try not to share things that are too too personal um, but I do feel like I owed you an explanation about why I haven't been bringing you guys content and it's simply because I have been grieving the loss of my father so I'm starting to feel better I'm still not a hundred percent myself but I'm starting to have ideas flow again for content and I'm ready to try to dive back into things so um, my family's been extremely supportive my friends have been amazing and to all of you who have been reaching out thank you for your prayers we all go through this at some point in our lives um, I just wasn't prepared to handle it um, I just wasn't prepared to handle it <laughs> so I had to take a step back take care of me um, and so I could take care of you guys and bring you guys good stuff so Moving on into the content this year, I've got a lot of great things lined up for you. I think I mentioned already that I'm collaborating with HGTV Dream Home this year, so we are working on some things behind the scenes with that. Um, something else that I get a lot of questions about are like things to do around Tampa Bay, and it's an idea that I toyed with for a while and just never really brought to fruition. So once a week, I'm going to try to bring you along on a vlog style video where we do a Tampa Bay Tuesday or maybe Tuesdays in Tampa Bay. Not quite sure what we're gonna call it yet, but I figured I'd take you to some places. So sometimes it'll be big name places. Sometimes more often I'd like to try to do local places and support our small businesses here in the Bay Area. There are so many beautiful hidden treasures in Tampa. Um, no matter what you like, if it's hiking or the arts or sports or restaurants, like we've pretty much got it all. And of course the beaches. So today is gonna be my first segment. Um, a very good friend of mine is opening a storefront boutique. I actually worked with her during the 12 days of Christmas with some of my giveaways. Um, but she's got a beautiful new place in Dunedin and it opened today and I went over and I did some shopping. So I'm going to take you along uh, on on the tour of her store and then I'll show you the items that I purchased and how I styled them. So again, thank you all and let's get into the video. I hope you enjoy it. At the millionaire house. Hello everyone. It's my first episode of Tampa Bay Tuesday where I'm going to take some time to vlog around different parts of Tampa Bay, try to shop local a little bit. There's a brand new boutique owned by my friend Melissa um, called the Ivory Palm. And so today is the first day they're opening in beautiful Dunedin, Florida. So we are gonna go in and check it out and do some shopping. So come shop with me.
So while I was filming in the store, um, I didn't realize that there was music playing in the background until I started editing this video. So a lot of the things that I was talking through, um, I'm going to have to share with you now. But basically what I was saying is that what I love about shopping at boutiques, um, especially your local boutiques, one, you're, you're supporting your local small businesses, but boutiques carry smaller stock than your big box retailers. And so they're able to keep up with the latest trends and switch out their inventory more frequently. So it's always very easy to find really nice gifts for people for pretty much any occasion, teachers, showers, coworkers, birthdays. You get hand-picked products that are higher quality and that are unique to that store. The other thing I really like about boutique shopping is that one-on-one -on -one experience that you don't always get in your big box retail stores. The boutique owners really know their stores, they know their products, they know the why behind why they order their products. And don't get me wrong, I've walked into a couple of boutiques where I didn't really feel welcomed, but this certainly was not the case here at the Ivory Palm and in most of the boutiques here in Tampa, they kind of love all over you while you're walking through the store and you end up feeling, you know, welcome and, you know, feeling like you want to spend some money. So that's my take on boutique shopping. A lot of the things that you see me showcase in uh, my home that I don't link in the description box is because they're from boutiques and there aren't any leaks for them. But I highly encourage you to check out some of the boutiques in your local area and see if you can find something you love there.
Okay, you guys, so I've got all my goodies home. I've opened up the candle care kit so you could see what's inside. There is a wick trimmer, a bell snuffer, and a wick dipper. So this is just a lovely way to bring some elegant accents to your kitchen. So I'm gonna set this camera down and show you how I style it. All right, so this is the center of my island. And what I'm gonna do, so I have this beautiful tray. This is one of the HDTV um, trays that I will be sharing with you guys a little bit later, but it's got, it's really pretty because it's got some marble and wood finish on it. And so it just brings a nice little bit of texture to the kitchen. So I'm gonna use that. And then I am going to use some faux flowers, just as an example. I found these really gorgeous, they smell so good, these candles from Home Goods. It's Rose Ganache, I believe it's pronounced. And then right in front of that, I am just going to lay my bell snuffer and my wick trimmer. Like that. That's it. See how pretty that looks? So now you've got a way to care for your candles and it looks pretty too. Go back so you can see it from a little bit farther away. Look at how pretty that is. Very simple, very elegant. Very millionaire house. So I'll link below, um, I'll, I'll put her website, I'll put the IP's website below um, and you can go shopping for those items if you'd like. And while we're here, I might as well show you what else I got too. I think I showed you a shirt that I really liked um, while I was in there. So I grabbed that and then I've been eyeballing this necklace for a while. Just the layers are, are so in right now. Um, and this chain is one that has um, some nice weight to it. It doesn't look overbearing on your neck. Um, and you can layer it really well. It actually reminds me <laughs> Theo's chain a little bit. Apparently I like these a lot. But so I got that and I also picked up an homage to my puppies. Because this would be cute, especially here in Florida. We're coming into our our spring. So this will be cute to pair with maybe a cute pair of jeans or some shorts. But it says, my dog is my best friend. And it's kind of in a wave. <laughs> Let's go down so you can see that. Ooh, sorry about the shakes, guys. All right. So I thought that was really cute too. All right, you guys, so that's pretty much it for my first Tampa Bay Tuesday. I hope you enjoyed that video. Check out the Ivory Palm if you are in the greater Tampa Bay area. I'll have the address and the website listed in the description box below. And let me know what you think about this type of video and if there's anywhere in Tampa you'd like for me to visit, okay? Until next time, I'll see you soon. Love and peace.